Imagine we live in a world where you get the same MacBook Pro and they run at completely different speeds. Mm -hmm. That's right, today is the future. I have an i9 2.3 gigahertz MacBook Pro 560X, exactly the same as an i9 2.3 gigahertz 560X. And this one runs 15%, 15%, 15 percent faster than this one. Check out the scores, 1,175, 1,000, 1,000, 311. That's right. I've been testing this all day. I've been going a bit crazy, but yeah, this computer runs 15% faster than this computer. And when it's, when, it's, when it's in operation, this one boosts up to around three gigahertz, and this one goes to 2.6. All right, check this out. I'm gonna run Synbench 15 over here, and you can see the CPU is boosted to four gigahertz, and slowly, three and a half, 3.2, and it's hovering around over three gigahertz, that's it. See it right there, 3.1. That's its level that it's gonna maintain for the generation of this Synbench. Whereas on this laptop, exact same specs. Let's run this again. Let's look at the CPU. Shoots again to four, but then it drops all the way down to 3.2, 3.1, 2.8. Look at that, 2.8. It's going all the way down, 2.7 and it's gonna drop all the way down to 2.6. This one's done. It's got 1,347, and that's how the graphs look like. This one's finishing up over here. It's dropped all the way down to 2.7. And this, this test is actually even cooler. I'm gonna be encoding videos at the same time, exact same video. And this one over here, look, it's doing 11 frames a second, 10, 9.9 .9 at 0.5. Over here on this side, it's doing 9.4. So while this one is doing 9.5, this one has now dropped to 8.9. This one's doing 9.4. This one's dropped down to 8.6. So the frame rate of encoding the video has dropped significantly. Look, this one's going 9.1, 9.0. This is going 8.3. That is a massive difference. You can see here, this encoding speed is 0.34. This encoding speed is 0.31. And if I leave this running for a little while, it gets slower and slower and slower. Look at that. That's 9.2 locked up over here and 8.3 over here. And if you look at the speed, this one's going 3.4, 3.3 gigahertz. Whereas this one over here, it's going 3.1 gigahertz. So that's, uh, well, 3.0. So that's a, a, at least a 200 megahertz difference between the two. And I'm a bit confused as what the hell is going on because I had a Vega 20 MacBook Pro and that guy, that guy got 1,289, which is like, like around 50 less than this one. But this one's like a hundred, two, two, almost, this is insanely slower than this one. And this is the exact same MacBook Pro. This is an i9 2.3. This is an i9 2.3, 560X, exact same computer running at different speeds. Now I've heard of something called silicon lottery. Silicon lottery. That means CPUs, they are configured to run about the same. However, when you try to overclock them, they don't run as fast, you know, some of them are really good and they overclock really well, others don't overclock well. Whereas in this case, this is like CPU lottery. You have the exact same CPU and they run at different speeds. That means, I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know. Guys, if you bought a MacBook Pro i9, check your figures. You might actually have a slow one. I don't know what to do, how to do reviews anymore. Does that mean I need to buy five MacBook Pros and figure out which one is good and bad? Or what the hell is going on in the world? And it looks like I'm not the only one having these issues. Check it out, Talio Tech. He's saying he's reviewed enough of these units and he's seen scores range between 22. In fact, one of them got over 3,000. That's a, that's a, what's 800 point difference. I am confused, I'm confused. Anyway, I just figured I'd share this knowledge for you because I guess I'm gonna have to get on the phone with Apple again and say, guys, the replacement that you sent me, cosmetically, it doesn't have a wobbly touch ID button, but it runs slower by a big margin, 15% is slow. And I'm just showing you sin bench here, I'll show you some proper stats here, 15%, sometimes even 20%. And this one, the fans go, oh. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy two MacBook Pros and then return the slower one. That's what you need to do from now on. Hope you found this video useful. <laughs> check, check the scores I've got on my computers and hopefully your computer is better than this one. 
and at least the same as this one. I checked online on the scores, and most of them, they turbo at 3 gigahertz. So if you get a slow one that turbos at 2.6 gigahertz, gigahertz, I'm sorry. I just found out about this. This is an issue. And uh, let me know how your situation is going. All right, this is Sinbench R20. Going to run them both at the same time. Three, two, one, go. So on the left, we are hitting 4.3 gigahertz. On the right, we hit it and we're maintaining 3.7 gigahertz. Left, we've dropped all the way down to 3 gigahertz, 2.9, 2.45. On the right, we're still going 3.2 gigahertz. On the left is 2.8. Here, we can clearly see 3.1. So that's a 300 megahertz difference in operations. 2.75, 3.1. That is the exact same specs, my friends, exact same specs, giving you such a drastic difference in performance. 2.7 gigahertz, this one's going 3.1 gigahertz. And with the exact same specs, my friends, the one on the right has finished, it's got 3,172. The one on the left with the exact same specs, the exact same specs, my friends, I'm crazy. What is going on? It's still finishing, it's rounding up, it's got a score. It's got a score of 2,784. So that is, that's a 400 point difference between the two computers, the same spec computers. You have to get on the phone again and tell them. Hello, Apple. It's me again. The MacBook Pro you sent me, it doesn't work. So let's do the maths. 3172 divided by 2784. That is 14%. This one's 14% faster than this one. All right, guys, so I'm just about to call Apple about this 15% slower laptop. Wish me luck. P.S. Ash has had enough of calling Apple, so I'm doing his dirty work. Basically, it was a replacement of one that I'd ordered, which had a wobbly touch bar key. Um, the one that I've received, however, when I've done some tests, it actually runs 15% slower than the one that has the broken touch bar keys. Yeah, you can do lots of tests on the Cinebench and you can just run lots of programs and it just tells you how fast the CPU goes. And the... okay, so I just got off the phone to Apple and he... <laughs> Guys, I'm clearly not a tech person at all. <laughs> when I said to him, oh, it actually runs 15% slower than the one that I had with a wobbly key, he was like, oh, wow, how do you test that out? I hope this all works out. I hope that the next Apple MacBook that you get is faster and not 15% slower. Anyway, guys, it's back to work because my next patient's on the door. Come in. Check out this horror show. So I've used an app called Volta to power limit the CPU to 40 watts. So that way they're limited to run at the same wattage, meaning they don't spike up and thermal throttle or require the fans or anything like that. So look at them go right now. This one and that one, they're both running. You can see this one's going at 2.5 gigahertz. Whereas this one over here is running at 2.7 gigahertz, but they're using the same power. That one's limited to 40 watts and that one's also limited to 40 watts. And that results in this monstrosity 560X got 1,162 and 560X got 1,073. So the biggest difference maker in these two systems is actually the luck of the draw on the processors. Here, I've got the exact same processors in both systems. And this one is clearly running 200 megahertz faster than this one. Whew. It's like you buy your car, the exact same car, except one runs really fast and one runs 15% slower. You buy a sandwich and one is 15% bigger and the other's 15% smaller. It's like you buy a house. Exactly. Oh, I don't know. What, what am I saying? I'm getting crazy. Go save some lives.